Alrighty, good morning or afternoon everybody. Ezel Senpai here. Welcome to Coffee with Senpai. Or, 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 or should it be called Frappe with Senpai? Huh, there's a lot of options. Uh, it started late, perfect. Uh, just got home, nice. Good timing. Uh, how's the audio? Uh, I moved over to a new system and I have no idea what the, what the audio levels are like. So, uh, if they sound good, please let me know. I had stuff to talk about. Let's pull up Twitter real quick. Because that's where relevant information's at. Let's see. Let's see. What was I going to talk about today? As if I forgot already. <laughs> uh, hot chocolate with Edel Senpai. What? Maybe. Maybe. I like that. Uh, I was so close to finishing a ton of decks. Nice. Nice. Okay, so let's see here. We got... We're talking about the latest episodes. Speculating on new boss forms. Uh, answering questions. And a moment of silence for the Hexelord players. Rip. Rip a Rooney. All right, that, that, that was a good, uh, solid moment. Let's see here. What else? What else? Let's go ahead and start with the, the speculation. Because uh, I, I feel that's the fun part. I'm going to make a giant Twitter post when I get all nice. Eventually, you know, I could probably talk about the VDEX I have built let's see let me just grab the box oh that's tied up to the other bag oop that's not good that's not good at all oh there we go perfect perfect i guess we're talking about which v-dex i have because you asked me a bunch of questions last week one of my friends joked that since yeah, can I be the flag bird? Maybe, but she's not fighting on the team. Sadly, it's uh, it's just the five. Although I think that'd be a great idea. I absolutely believe that. Let's see, where was it? Because I know I retweeted it. There's the sale, piracy. Happy Thanksgiving Pilgrims. I will send you to Jesus. Where is it? Simping for my wife. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, no, it had to have been before the Disneyland trip. I love Akane and that would be awesome yeah no absolutely it'd be really nice to see you know actual characters you know like side characters actually you know do things that aren't just uh, one shots where is it I swear <laughs> you're gonna have to give me a moment to find that your question again I, I feel bad that I lost it but uh, let's see. Ah, ah. Uh, Q and A. Here we go. Here we go. No, wait, no, that's not it. Darn it. Oh, here, here, here we go. Here we go. Found it. Found it. Found it. Okay. Will you uh, finally make a Spike Brothers deck? Eventually. Now that all, uh, that like the Great Three Searcher and a few other things are reprinted, most likely if I can get it. Uh, will you do a debt collection video on YouTube? Uh, I mean, this will go on YouTube, so sure. Uh, we'll answer that right now. Okay. So aside from the gold paladin debts that I have, right now I'm working on... Well, Ezel's built, you know, that's obvious. 
Uh, I do have core built. I'm still experimenting with it. It's it's good. It's good. It just lacks uh, some stuff. I played against a, a Fender deck with it yesterday, and I got Melissa looped to, to death twice. But Core was able to call out three Fallons and an Adlaveil on one activation, so uh, winning, right? Okay, let's see. What do I got? What do I have? What was this? Okay, so uh, Gurgit's also kind of in the works. I I have an idea for it, and I, I, I like it. It's just a matter of refining it. Uh, just, just straight up, straight attacking. Just attacks. While generating uh, a whole lot of soul to use for cost to, for other things. But let's see here. The decks I've got built. Uh, let's see. Uh, Shiryuki's in here. I, I do have Shiryuki. Al although, to be fair, that build... Wait, why is a... Why is Borosaur Dragon in here? What the... Wait, why is... Wait... How did these end up in here? Wait a minute. That's not supposed to be there. <laughs> That's supposed to be in another box. I, I have been playing Yu-Gi-Oh on the side. I, I will admit that. Not as much, but... You know. Figured, you know, you know I talk shit about Yu-Gi-Oh so much. I, you know, it's one of those things. It's like, well, you know, put your money where your mouth is. Sort of sort of deal so I don't like the game but just to prove a point I'm gonna play it that's supposed to be there that's supposed to be here yeah I don't know how these got out <laughs> okay so Shiryuki's built uh, Shiryuki needs a little bit more work I think in the grade 2 area uh, it's, it's very straight up Shiryuki Yo, that's debate. You know, it's funny. Like, this is double dose of coffee with Senpai. Uh, my wife got uh, some McDonald's uh, uh, iced coffees this morning. Like, but like she came into the room. And I, 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 I wake up, I open my eyes, and she's, like, sneaking in with the bag of McDonald's. And it's just like, good morning. <laughs> so I have an iced coffee and a regular cup of coffee. So much caffeine. I, I got a lot of stuff to do today, so I need it. I need it. So Shiryuki's built. It needs a bit more work. Uh, now that the grade three searchers are reprinted, I could just same with spikes. Uh, I can pick those up and kind of get this built. Uh, I'm just waiting on some uh, SPs to come in my for Verena. Nice. Let's see. I have Regalia built. So, so what we're doing right now is uh, I'm answering a, uh, some questions off of Twitter. And one of the questions is, can you show off your V collection on YouTube? So, you monster. I'm still traumatized by McDonald's. Uh, why are you traumatized by McDonald's? And, and, and to be fair, I didn't pick McDonald's. My wife did. So, I'd say choose your words carefully. <laughs> No, no, it's all cool. Uh, Gavriel, uh, I've got Gavriel built. Uh, I'm probably gonna change it to the 12 crit four heal build with the new heal guardians, which is apparently really good. Uh, Mordred, I have Mordred built. I don't know if I want to ch get Raging Form just yet. Like, I kind of feel like when Raging Fall comes out, Revengers are just gonna go pure Revengers. While Mordred is more for Blaster Dark, and I think that's another build to go. So I think, oh, you used to work there. Gotcha. Anyways, uh, four and a half years. Yikes. Well, good job working at McDonald's for that. Surviving at McDonald's for that long. Good job. So so Mordred is built. Uh, Shiranui. Uh, that one I'm still kind of playing around with. Like, I like it. It's fun, but I think we're still waiting on, what, another promo to make it good? Uh, Silverthorns. 
Uh, silver thorns need the base luthier, otherwise it's done. Like, really, all I need is the base luthier. That's all I need. But, aside from that, it, it, it's basically done. It, it, and the build itself actually works the way I like it, so... It's not that I don't need base luthier, but... It'd be cool. Uh, definitely volume 3 and 4 will definitely uh, help this build. Uh, Chrono Jets built. Uh, smoke gears came in today, so I can finally add those to the deck. I pulled the Chronos Command uh, from a random pack last week. So that's going to get teched in. Uh, Dimension Police is built. Uh, it's just minusing the newer support. Thankfully, one of my friends bought a box of uh, volume, and uh, you, hold on, I, I'm gonna sidetrack real quick. The foils, the okay, the foiling for set one for Clan Collection is a hell of a lot better than the foiling for set two. Like, seriously, if you guys have the set one or the the you know volume one foils, look at it, and then go look at the volume two foils. There is such a discrepancy. Like, Volume 2 looks objectively worse, foiling-wise. While Set 1 is just like, oh, here's some sparkles, you know, it actually looks like a nice foil. <sighs> it's just, it's like, what the hell? Uh, volume 2 is Revengers, yes. Uh, let's see. All I want for premium collection besides strides and G guards is grade three retrains of G boss units with gifts and and on strides. That's asking for quite a bit. I do hope so. That would be that would be really cool. That would be like just with updated skills. Well, okay, it's they're they're newer retrains. I got gotcha. you. I mean, as long as they have the updated, like, 13k base or whatever, I'd be okay with it. I mean, like, it's okay that it, like, okay, having different foiling is fine. But I think, like, how it's foiled is different. Because, like, I have a set two card right here, and it's just got, like, this weird like checkerboard kind of foiling while set one has this like scattered broken glass kind of foiling and i like that one better to be honest uh okay so uh when i looked over revenger i realized that raging form and fall seem to be their own deck i want to make a shot pile in deck in honor of my friend david who oh yes <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. That 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 sounds like a wonderful tribute. That does. And and even more reason to, you know, keep wearing a face mask and uh get vaccinated. Thousand percent. Oh, what else was going on? Man, let's check. Where's my mouse? There it is. Uh da -ba -ba -ba. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I do hope that we do get retrained bosses in in premium collection, but at the same time, I don't know. It, I, I think it just depends. I, I think it, it just depends. Uh, even budget Revengers build is easy. The Revengers from Clan Collection 2, Raging Fall Trio, set 4, uh, 24 cards, 16 traders, Claus Endurance, a 1 starter, and... <laughs> then be a, a butthead one blaster dark no do it do it one blaster dark why why not that's my it's a good build i'm surprised we don't have a blaster dark revenge you know what i'm surprised about that too i mean we have blaster blade seeker why not we get blaster dark revenger but i'm also on the same mindset of can can gold paladin get its own unique blaster please Pretty please. Okay, so Gear Chronicles built. Uh, Chrono Jet, I should say. Thavis is built. Coral is built. 
Uh, I do have Ange off to the side. Ange is good, but I, I like Coral. I, I just like Coral. I have Ghosties built. Uh, like I said, Dimension Police. I have Beast Edies and Victor. So those are my V Premium decks at the moment. A friend of mine gave me, uh, he bought a box of set one and gave me all the uh, deeply stuff, so I just gotta get three more copies of all that stuff, which would be nice. It would be cool if we got the spirits. I think that'd be kind of cool. And uh, the Slagles, yeah. Absolutely agree with you on that. Also, I remember they make... Uh, Overlord Rebirth Art for Zero. That's true, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that that one will have... Uh, when we get the Rebirth in 5 and 6, it'll have that art. Hopefully. Or it won't. Let's see. Am I cute? Uh, I, I'd like to think I am, but... Uh, depends on how you're asking that question. Let's see here. Do you think Bushroot has plans for Overdress... Uh, to go beyond three years. I, I think so. I, the cool thing of what Bushy Road's been doing, especially with the anime too, is they've made it easier to branch out to other parts, other characters, other things. You know, yeah, we have the characters in this area. You know, you got the Blackout, we got the Daybreak. The Daybreak. <laughs> I'm going to circle back to that in just a moment. Uh, but I mean, it's not like they couldn't go, you know, we can tell this whole story. And then they could just spin off of it. Well, maybe not spin off, but they could go into other characters, other new main characters, new cast, all set in the same universe. Maybe in other countries, too. You know, it would be kind of cool to see a series of Vanguard that doesn't take place in Japan, so to speak. You know, maybe somewhere in Europe. Uh, God forbid America. That would be... I don't know how I feel about that one. But I do feel like, in terms of anime, I think they could branch out. And with how they've been doing the series so far, that could easily translate into boosters. You know, the more ride lines, the better, I think. As long as there's, you know, good shared resources. And with how they've been doing uh, the archetype builds... You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of good support for archetypes, and there I think there's a good balance of generic support, which is really nice. I wouldn't mind seeing uh, new teams like uh, like Blackout. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, new teams, maybe uh, maybe across other parts of Japan, maybe maybe we'll get to like a really cool tournament arc where it's all the teams of Japan, Blackout, the Daybreak other teams and you know what's kind of cool because like maybe season six or five or six of over just they'll be like oh hey we haven't seen blackout and the daybreak face off since season two what a nice callback uh like a whole team tournament arc uh the next cast being a team that wants to defeat blackout because they want to be as power oh well, I don't think Blackout is powerful. They're strong. I, I, I mean, I, if powerful means, you know, one guy buys a case, then, uh... <laughs> in the distance. Tournament arc! Ooh. Okay, yeah. No, I see that. I see that. Uh, that that would be interesting yeah May, maybe like the events that are going on right now in the show with this uh survivor round robin style tournament tower battle uh, it might be televised maybe or on streaming and through it maybe the final match will inspire a new cast of characters to form up their own teams and want to take on bigger challenges that, i like that idea yeah i think the real focus is going to be the <laughs> my real focus 
in the BD versus Masanori fight since Masanori seems to have be the one to, that told her to start committing early. <laughs> That's true. Masanori might be more of a bad guy. Okay, so so he he might be the son of Shoma. Okay, so I'm gonna this is this is where I was gonna circle back. So in the latest episode, we know that Donji got in trouble because he fought like physically fought people for looking down on his sister and feeling sorry for her. Which come on, that that's understandable, but at the same time, I get it. I get it. So so so. There, 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 you know, uh, Donji gets, uh, you know, talked to, scolded, whatever. Haruka and Mire are kind of laying down talking to each other, and they hear ride a unit. Hold on, I, I actually took a screenshot of this. I, I, I can't put it on stream, but I might do it in editing, maybe. Uh, but it's basically within the episode. Did I actually not take a screenshot of that? I swear I did. Huh. I guess I didn't. Basically, it was saying, ride a unit from the planet Cray. Ride the Vanguard. And it's said in a way that's very reminiscent of Kai. So I think this confirms that the series Overdress is a separate universe than the original and the reboot. Completely separate. This would make sense because of the V Premium posters that we've seen. So, it is literally like Digimon Tamers, where the show, Card Fight Vanguard, is a show and a card game anime, and everyone likes it, and people play it, and the other formats exist. So, the Overdress world is more closer related to ours than the previous series. And I enjoyed the hell out of that. Like, that's... I'm like, okay, cool. We got this separation of worlds. I like this. Oh, no. I'm gonna have Yu Yu and Blackout fight cancel culture. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, we need to move Obi uh, from the old cast... They could pay homage to old characters and having cameos. So, one thing I would love to see happen is uh, later on. Later on, I'd like to see uh, like a Bonds Beyond Time kind of deal, you know, where it's you know Aichi, Chrono, Shin, Yu Yu. I I guess Emmy. I guess. Because I guess she is a main character. I, I, I still can't accept her as a main character. I can't. She's a magical girl character, sure, but not a card fighter. Er, ma hold on. Magical Emmy is not a... <sighs> it's so weird. It's... But something like that. Or, you know, some sort of multi-dimensional thing where, with Messiah. Actually go into lore. Actually explain... You know, how these characters can kind of co-exist together. If not to fight a big battle. You know, and have it be really connected to the lore. And then, you know, have like the, the older characters kind of appear. And tell you, you and the gang about, you know, D's and stuff. And they're like, wait, the thing from the, the show? The show? What are you talking about? Yeah, no, this is the show. Wait, we're a show? Just have like Chrono in the game just watch G and then start cringing the fact that Vanga Man actually happened. <laughs> I think that'd be cool. But it would be it would be nice. It would be really, really cool. Or at least uh, it'd be I, I don't know. I, I, I don't apparently I don't know how to write, so but that would be cool, but I also think that it's kind of nice that they're not relying, at least in anime terms, they're not relying on borrowing from what's already been established. Like, the encounter cards were enough, like, oh, hey, nostalgia, cool. 
but not to overload nostalgia again. You know what I mean? I want to see some awesome war between Link Joker War. Imagine Link Joker War, but not garbage. Because Aichi was in a bus for half of it. He was. My favorite is Anti-Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, so Overdress is in a separate universe that we're aware of, where Vanguard is a card game and a show, and the people in Overdress watch it and play it. And it is more closely tied to our world than the original. Uh, you buying the Mirai deck? Uh, yeah, I, I, I might pick up one. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> it, it actually looks like a lot of fun. You know, I, I, it, it's just, yeah, why not? The Mirai deck does look good. It looks solid from the get-go. And uh, with the new, with, with the more uh, triple raiders being in set four, I think the deck will be easier to build. Oh boy, what's this? Am I gonna regret those? Uh, the Trick Moon reveal mentioned. Have me remind you. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, anti Chris. Ah, uh, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, did you watch the latest episode last night? Yes, I did. The, the We actually just got to talking about the latest uh, Overdress episode, yeah. But basically, this episode. Uh, confirms that Overdress is set in another universe like ours where Vanguard is an anime and a card game show and people play it. There is V Premium. V Premium does exist because we've seen the posters for Gabriel, Favis, and a few other units, I think. Could they go into... A v premium kind of maybe yeah that'd be, you know that'd be really cool if they were to be like oh hey well, let's play premium format wait what's premium and then we have a whole premium arc that would be really cool uh what if they introduce premium in the anime that's what i just said where do they do it uh by 2022 we'll get the dub and season uh three and four i uh, yeah yeah I, I really think that bushy should consider uh, getting overdressed on Adult Swim for the dub. Just uh, I don't know. Just something tells me that if they were to work with Adult Swim, Cartoon Network, because the dub I think is still being done by Funimation, right? I don't remember the studio who who's dubbing it, but I don't know. Fun Funimation's doing the the subs. I think. I don't remember. Uh, I would say put it on Pluto TV. So the reason I think Adult Swim would be good... Like, it's still available on YouTube. It's still available through all the other means. But with how adult-themed Overdress seems to be, I think it would do very well on Adult Swim. Uh, let's see. Medumi kind of undersells... Uh, Medumi, though, kind of undersells herself... Donji, since Donji season two is weaker than Megumi, I I don't think Donji is weaker by any stretch. I think that his mindset in the game isn't where it used to be. I think after he lost to Toya, he just isn't trying. That's the thing. He isn't trying. While Megumi is getting better. And, you know, we, we can see that. Haruka just has this really good strategy. And, you know, I, Donji will win when he wants to, to win, if that makes sense. Midumi has to win at this point. Also, the Cascade Strides and try the Mechanic. I, I agree. I think that would be really, really cool. Uh, which uh, which uh, side would you side on? Um, Blackout solely because... Um, Arson is bad. <laughs> Arson is bad. 
That's that's the title of this episode. Arson is bad. <laughs> Rip Hexa or players. <laughs> uh, justice for Hexa or abuser. No, okay, so hold on. The guy lost. The dude lost. And he probably wasn't really that good with Hexa Orb to begin with. But it still kind of feels like a kick in the nads to be like, Oh, hey, Hexa Orb, finally, airtime? Nope. Absolutely not. Arson is bad. Uh, Yamato lost because Haruka got the overtrigger and it doubles. That's true. That's true. So she probably got like a crit and it doubled it. And then the overtrigger that doubled that. That's true, yeah. Uh, I can't wait to see Daybreak get their evolutions. Uh, maybe in season four. Oh, and Orphist. Yeah, Orphist for sure, for sure. I'm curious what he's uh, doing behind the scenes with Daybreak. I'm curious too. Uh, since there's only a uh, character I hate, and it's not Haruka. Uh, so yeah, he he got, he got KO'd by turn three without being able to fight. I think he did fight. They just didn't show it. You know what I mean? Maybe. Maybe set four DSRs. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so let me ask you guys this. Because I've had this discussion with a, a friend of mine. Uh, about, about this. And it's kind of a broad statement. Because, like... So I'll ask the question because they asked. Do you think Mire is evil now let me remind you the, the term evil is a very loaded term no okay why not evil just broken okay I showed you almost turn three then heart is turn three she wrote I, I mean oh, oh yeah okay I'll have to go check that out like mentally broken okay Okay. Uh, well, let me go find her real quick, dude. Dude. Let's see. There's what I'll do. I'll do this. I'll do that. Where is it? Oh, okay, I'll just do this. This works. Okay. Uh, I love the way they portray Mire as a villain in season two because she's not evil, she's just crazy. <laughs> uh, that's much more compelling. Uh, I don't think she's crazy, but I, I would say maybe mentally unstable. Okay, okay. I, I said read it. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm reading it out loud. Only Toya has turned to evil, which uh, happened off screen, uh, which still has some missing holes. I'd say uh, crazy, but more mental. Okay, okay. You know, I'll read this later and uh, I'll get back to you on it. So, broken. Very disappointed you didn't. I. I just saw it. I just saw it. <laughs> I didn't know it was there. Okay, to be fair, I've only been up for about two hours, two three hours. So you know, gotta play that Mega Man X dive. Gotta, gotta get those uh, dailies. So Mira is just an interesting character, and I love how they've written her. Now I'm not. Uh, I'm not reading off your 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 tweet. I do have it minimized, so I can. I did get, yes, I did get both, yes. Honestly, like, I was able to get uh, EHC five stars already. And, uh, you know, I love the free 10 pulls. It was great. I, I think they will, if not season three, then by season four. Mirai is an interesting character. Like, okay, she's blind. Okay, she's been blind for probably a long time. She doesn't want anybody looking down or feeling sorry for her, which is understandable. Totally understandable. 
while Haruka's kind of manipulating her, essentially lying to her to fit this narrative that Blackout's bad. But she doesn't really have anybody to trust. Now we're starting to see that trust kind of dissolve a little bit. Which is interesting. I feel by the end of the season she'll realize oh shiz maybe I shouldn't be as trusting to people. Maybe I need to be a more open minded. Uh, like she's not evil. Broken, yes. Mentally unstable, yes. Mentally broken, yeah, I agree. Uh, heartbroken, I, I think, is another one, too. It, it's also weird that Mirei puts more into the show than Yu Yu. I, you know, I might get some heat for that, but... You know, like, like, and, and I know you mentioned this, that, uh, that Yu Yu really doesn't really bring anything to the show. I, I think Harka is jealous the fun black I'm not quite sure about that we don't know why they hate blackout so far we don't know why Masanori may have put that into their their heads but there's probably a deeper reason that we haven't seen yet yes yes rational cognitive decisions thank you thank you for saying it thank you so yeah so so no, I don't I don't think Mirei is evil. I think Haruka is well meaning, but definitely not evil either. Um another thing I like about Overdress so far is they haven't introduced any supernatural elements to it. You know, back in you know, the original series we had Psychqualia that, you know, made people obsessed. And with power and wanting it stronger, we we don't have that yet, thankfully, and I and I hope we don't ever go into it, unless it's for something cool. Uh, by the way, Japanese voice actor is Shin. Yeah, no, I yeah yeah no, Masanori is Shin. Oh, also the English is Shin. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. That's cool. I actually make a point that a reason Harka is just Donji. Is what Harker lacks in the ability to understand me right on an emotional level. That, that, there, that, that right there, that right there. Yes, yes. That is a good point. That is a super good point. Uh, it's almost like you should read my posts. I, <laughs> I, I, I. I do. I, I just didn't see this one, okay? I didn't I didn't see this one. And I, I, I will read it off, off stream. Okay, I promise. I, I I promise. Okay, let's see. Were there any other questions on Twitter I need to answer real quick? Uh picking up as Sagra. Uh yeah, I'll probably pick up a deck before I answer that. Naruto and Fortnite, your thoughts. I I have none. <laughs> the only thing I can think of about Naruto being in Fortnite is that one little video that circulated around where it's Naruto fighting Sasuke and Sasuke is like, you're out of chakra, Naruto. And Naruto's like, yeah, I'm out of chakra, but I'm not out of option. Pulls out some handguns and just starts shooting. <laughs> so then I started blasting. <laughs> Content wise, I think it's a, it's a good thing, but I I'm gonna be very concerned when Fortnite inevitably inevitably tries to cross over with established uh, card game properties. I, I I can see it happening through some way. <laughs> you can have like Yugi and Kaiba in Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Let his body creep too. Pulls out a rifle. <laughs> Ask me what it does again. And and doing okay. You know, yeah, yeah. I I'm I'm doing a little better. Uh, but they will hate my uh, hatest. 
Let's see, I'm okay with the duck, the user, the character, and this is what I hate. Uh, my hatest? Hatest. Is it, I don't think that's a word. Hatest. Most hated character? Oh, Shinobu. Okay, you don't like Shinobu. Okay, that's, that's okay. Shinobu, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I, uh, that's a, I'm, I'm assuming that's a mental health checkup question. I'm fine. Uh, the last couple of weeks have been a little tough because, uh, one of my close friends who, who considers me a brother, uh, is, uh, has to move out and they're trying to find a place to live. Him and his, uh, girlfriend wife. Uh, and I'm saying it like that because she, she flew in from England, but she doesn't have her immigrate or her uh, citizenship yet so i don't know if it's legal so girlfriend wife wife girlfriend whatever slash it fiance we'll, we'll meet in the middle fiance and like i took him to go find a bunch of uh places to live and it's just it's so hard it's so hard to find a place to live, at least here in California. It is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I'm fortunate enough to be in the position where I am at, where I don't have to worry about that. But I put myself in people's shoes, and I can empathize. And, jeez, it, it is just spirit-breaking when, you know, you're trying to survive, and, you know, places are asking for three times the amount of money you make a month to pay for rent. That's ridiculous. And like, I felt bad. I felt defeated. And the whole reason he has to say so like, he was originally living with his grandma in a senior area, senior citizen area. And their rent had gone up by $75. My friend, Kevin, you know, he's working right now and he, he is making oh no okay amount of money and like he wasn't paying rent he was just paying for phone storage unit and food and he gladly was like hey i'll i'll pay this 75 dollars extra and the grandma's like no we ain't gonna do that so all this hassle because the grandma was stubborn to not let her grandson pay uh give her an extra 75 dollars to pay rent and I just, I, it's funny now, but during that day, it was two weeks ago, I think. I, I just felt defeated. I just, I came home and, you know, wife asked, oh, hey, come downstairs. I'm like, I can't, I'm not feeling good. She came up here, cried, you know, just, just feeling straight up defeated. And it's like, I'm not defeated. I tried my best to help my friend out and it wasn't enough and that that really set me back a bit so but I'm fine now I, I'm doing better I'm doing I'm doing fine I'm focusing on what I can do realistically so but overall yes uh, I am fine I'm doing good it, it is it is like people are asking far too much for for homes that you know sure small question in an area that is completely undesirable like you could have a shed in the backyard and charge you know 1500 a month plus utilities first in last month's rent up front can they afford something like a tiny home or maybe a botsabi? What's that? No, they can't. He he makes uh roughly about fourteen hundred dollars a month after taxes. Uh there's not really much they can do in terms of government assistance because COVID. Uh the area they live in is very predominantly uh, senior citizen living 
and it's just it's tough it's not a lot of money it really isn't like I like I asked him about you know his finances and stuff and he's like okay well you know here's what this is it, it costs you know about a thousand dollars to maintain things you know there's there's the storage unit the phone bill uh, food groceries uh, credit card bills and I'm like, okay, there's four hundred dollars left over. What's that going towards? And he he said he's saving up for his uh, fiance's citizen uh, citizenship papers, which I'm like, okay, cool, but that's not enough. So it, it's just it, it's tough. It, it's it's just tough, and I feel bad. I. <laughs> I genuinely feel bad like I tried to get him a place here you know like we have a spare room and it, because I don't own the house my father-in-law does and understandably he was like no we can't we can't we can't do this so and like I, I get it I get <laughs> I understand why our pre-constructed homes uh you know i'll let me google that real quick just uh okay there you go thank you thank you let's check that out box buy Dwelling unit? What? Well, I'll, I'll check this one out later. I don't want to do it on on, on stream, but I'll, I'll check that out. I, I will. I have it on my phone now, so appreciate it. Uh, okay, so what else? Were we... Oh, we're speculating. Okay, okay. Let, let's speculate about the Great Fords. Let's speculate about the new boss unit upgrades. Okay, so we know Magnolia is a Grade 4... So when placed, let me, let me grab it real quick. Because that's, it's pretty cool. Where is it at? Where is it at? There you are. There you are. So it's a uh, so Sylvan Horn Beast Emperor Magnolia Elder Grade Four Triple Drive Auto One Placed. Uh, choose a card from your soul, and you may call it to Rear Guard Circle. Continuous on Vanguard. If you have one plus uh, one or more Magnolia cards in your soul or Rear Guard, all of your units can attack and intercept from the back row and get plus five K power. I think that's really cool. Now. We can assume, we can assume that they're all grade four. We can assume. Let let's let's just do that for for right now, just for the sake of speculating. Let's uh, let's just assume that all of them are, are grade fours. I think that's great. Some decks it might be clunky, but I think it is a natural progression. Like this is. This is truly what cross rides should be. And it isn't even a cross ride. It is just an upgraded form, which, you know, gets an extra bonus if you did the thing. Uh, Nirvana will focus on Overdress. Yes, that's true. Uh, Seraph Snow just jails you for being male. Yeah, you know, understandably. Totally. Uh, Bastion will be a great three. Uh, will be for grade three or graders. I I feel that the new bastion will. Um. It in itself will count as a grade three. When drive checked. Or while it's in the deck trigger zone wherever it will count as a grade three. Like it'll be a grade four, but it'll have a continuous ability that'll say always treat this card as a grade three. 
and make everything traders. Yo, if Bastion makes everything grade three, like, then that gives Bastion so much freedom to not heavily rely on grade threes. So now you actually can play like some of the other cards, other combo cards, and just, oh, that would be so cool. And Virena overdress, uh, hard for the summer season. <laughs> then underdresses for your opponent. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's great. Uh, 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 that's what uh, Trick Moon should be doing. It's not under. It's not overdress. It's underdress. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, okay. So Bruce. So I saw. Trick Moon is. <laughs> uh, that's probably a a anti Chris for sure. Uh, so Bruce. Let's assume Bruce is a grade four. Um, I saw this combo on Twitter. Somebody had mentioned it. Where. Okay, Magnolia could be really good in premium with. Uh, v Fabus, while Chrono Jet, Chrono Fang, and Lost Legend could pseudo stride or can superior ride into Grade Four Bruce. I'll let that sink in for just a moment. I think that's amazing. <laughs> and if it, it is a Grade Four, then yo, playing premium would be really interesting, especially with those. Oh man. The Magnolia Thavis build is kind of odd, but uh, I, I like it. I like it. At least it lets you call something from Soul, which is nice. So I guess you can kind of mitigate the amount of units you're resting. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? Bastion. We talked about that. Seraph Snow Grade 4 could be interesting. I, I have a feeling it'll have something to do with... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to gain an extra drive based off of a number of units in prison. So, so Seraph Snow will probably be able to quad drive. Uh, don't forget Zorda, Flagbird, Greedon, and Barrow for those clans too. True... Uh, but we don't know if they're gonna get great. Yeah, exactly. We don't know if they'll they'll get them yet Maybe later Maybe set five or set six I Mean I wouldn't put it past them to do that. I, I think the natural progression is that they all would get the four the grade four But right now I think they will focus on the main five Lyrical I don't know Lyrical could go for the grade fours later, maybe in Lyrical set three, set four. Like, Felty Rosa could get a grade four. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, yeah, you know. I, I, I feel that the grade four is a natural progression of unit evolution. And I'm very happy they kind of brought together the idea of a cross ride and the triple drive grade four from strides. I'm, I'm very happy about that. So, all right. So we speculated. Bruce is probably just going to be able to just do all sorts of shenanigans. Poor heads or players still. <laughs> uh, oh, heads or. I, I went to the locals uh, Saturday, and I was playing uh, with an unorthodox Bastion build. It has more ones, and uh, I'm, I'm playing Blaster Darts, so I'm not really relying on the restand from Bastion's skill. I'm just getting things to deal with issues 
and I went two one, which was really cool. It felt good because no one was playing Barra Magnus. I only lost to Orphus for critting me two turns in a row. I have so many different builds just because of this. Uh, some cards uh, having name specific skills. Exactly. I'm excited to see Tron Overlord and Andy. <laughs> yeah, it would be kind of cool if uh, somehow they, they featured those units. I, I still think the encounter set would be a great idea. Where it's just like playing collection. Except they're all encounter cards. Every ride line would get a new... Uh, would get uh, uh, essentially the main clans the main units of each clan would get a, an exclusive ride line uh, Phantom Blaster and uh, Drought Overlord would be reprinted in it obviously so there'd be uh, a 0 to 3 and then 3 support cards I think that would just be and those 3 support cards are semi specific to that ride line just <sighs> because that way i could play catter and and be like oh hey here we go grade three as let's go uh i mean with grade four blackout units why not make uh just made strides in premium with the same names as the d units that way you have to choose if you want the grade four i i think that's kind of cool I kinda like Thavis, Lambros, Derp. Thavis, Lambros, similar. They're very different, but very similar. So I understood, I get you, I get you. Uh, uh, I think I've mentioned this in, in previous streams what I would like for the next premium collection. I would like, you know, not just every clan to get, you know, a stride and G guards and new support, but nation strides that are, you know, the main five. And maybe a brand new unit for lyrical because lyrical. Like a, a unit that can kind of tie them all the lyricals together. It could be the whale. Okay. The whale itself is a stride. <laughs> there you go. And then from there that would just be a way for players who are playing overdressed to be like oh wow there's a bruce grade four stride in premium format Ooh, i want to try that bermuda gets Kyrie or something uh, Kyrie's cool but I, I the whale let it be the whale uh like strides are from the future uh, so this is the future of Cray, GRs of the five great nations that turned into strides. Kind of like progenitors, but it's like blackout strike. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And Bermuda gets the... I, I, I still think Bermuda just gets the whale. Because that is literally their entire nation. And it could be universal. Within Lyrical. So whatever build you're playing in Lyrical, the whale stride for Lyrical is universal so whether you're playing white wings or ghosty or ghosts uh go, ghosts or you know earnest correct or songs or whatever build you're playing it will support it it'll just have a good generic skill that's what i would like personally Oh, what's that? What was that noise? Ah, oh, Mr. Light, thanks for the, the follow. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'm not used to, uh, <laughs> to the notification sounds on here yet. But yo, Mr. Light. Uh, for it to work with ghosts and uh, Kyrie, it needs to be a stride that bounces rear guards, calls rear guards, and maybe, pro yeah. Or, or to call units from the deck to, like, reproc them. You know what I mean? Like, you're attacking with, with uh, Indrid first, she goes to the bottom. Then the whale could bounce stuff back and call cards based off of whatever requirements so you can call Indrid again. So I'm building three gold paladin decks. Nice. 
Uh, why not the whale just gain heart st Ooh! I like that. I like that. I miss my gold, Zoe. So, so you want... You want the whale to be a crystal... You know what? That actually makes sense. And, and like maybe some extra skill, too. Because a part... Because... Because a part of that could get broken in the wrong hands. Gasto PTSD. So... I, I don't think so. Like, okay, so the reason Gastiel was bad was because it got two abilities. Or, like, three abilities. It got two from whatever it copied for Soul, and then its own uh, kind of skill. But I think in Lyrical, if it copies just one heart ability, like Crystal Luster and Chain Ranger, it, uh, it could be good. It, it could be interesting. I don't think it would be too busted, though. I think it'd be I think it, that would be fine but it plays football <laughs> it returns gas deal but it plays football hatred you know what's funny uh someone at locals yesterday was talking about why why does Dudley Emperor um have a mech suit where in the original he's just a giant robot and I'm just like you know technology when when technology comes out it's really big and bulky but over the years technology gets smaller and more advanced and then gets bigger and more advanced and it gets it, it's not this kind of wave of size to advancement why do you think 3,000 years later Bruce is the way it is technology It's so stupid, but that works. I like that logic. I like that logic. 3,000 years later, Cray has internet. That's true. Cray has the internet. Cray has the internet. You can Google Sarah's. No. No. <laughs> I almost read that out loud. No. No. <laughs> On cradle. Cradle. No. <laughs> that That's literally a go to jail card. Because, like. D d no. Let's not. Let's not do that. Uh, serious terms the Dryden egg was stolen by Basagra. Maybe it turns out to be Trick Moon. Maybe. Huh. So, so Trick Moon is just a bad egg? It's a bad egg. So, Saria. Warned us about it. Oh, maybe. Maybe. That's very possible. Uh, how did locals go yesterday? Uh, so I'm trying to remember locals. So we actually fired off V Premium last night. We had six players, and uh, I went two one, thankfully. But by the skin of my teeth, I won the first one. Okay, so there's a uh, there's a we have another player there who's been playing Royal Paladin for a long time, at least since mid V. And he wanted to borrow my Dimension Police deck. I'm like, yeah, sure, go for it. We get paired up, and we play, and... Uh, I I won barely because he forgot about Dialiner's continuous skill about giving Great Threes uh, 10k shield. If he had remembered that, I would not have won. So I ended up winning the match, and I was like, you gotta read the cards, dude. Like, re researching a deck is great and all but the practice is where a lot of it pays off uh round two i lost to highlander because holy crap highlander is nuts <laughs> yeah giving people hope and giving people salvation then uh yeah i lost to 
Highlander round two. Round three, I played against my friend Mikey playing MLB, and that was probably the funnest match I've had in a long time. Like, we were just cracking jokes throughout. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to rush early, try to get rid of his board so he doesn't put stuff into soul. And he has this Wingle Brave out there, and I'm just trying to hit it. He's like, the dodge stays! So we're just like, okay, so 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 MLB is basically John Wick, right? <sighs> so many memes about it, it was great. Like, just after the match, like, I won the match, but it was a hard-fought match. <laughs> and I'm just like, Majesty Lord Blaster is John Wick teamed up with Paw Patrol. I can't unsee it, and I think that would be such an amazing, like, concept. Maybe Fortnite will do it. You know, oh, hey, here's John Wick with Paw Patrol on Fortnite. <laughs> Get the squad together. TCG Imports say what? Oh, are you, are you talking about the, the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Ghost from the Past thing? Hey. If so, I, I, I saw it, and I'm just kind of like, oh, dear God. I mean, it's about time we got some of those cards, but finally, Deco Talker, Heat Soul, and Barrel End. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, I'm hoping that they're not... Like, if they're the Ghost Rares, that's fine. But I'm hoping they also come in, like, an Ultra Rare foiling, because... No. No. I don't want these newer cards to solely be ghost rares where they're so expensive, normal people can't get them. No. Absolutely not. If they are going to be ghost rare, I hope they have an ultra rare variant so people can get them. You know. That would be great. Uh, now we're back on the topic of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I'm building Infernoble Knights. Uh, eventually it's going to turn into something else, but... Infernoble is, uh... Is pretty cool. At the moment. I like it. It's fun. It's, it's fun. There's some fun combos I found out. Uh, I got a few things that are coming in the mail, so... That'll speed up the deck just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, there, there's that. Oh yeah, we're getting the Rush Duel team next week. That'll be nice. Uh, let's see, we've been recording for... No, oh, we've been on for an hour and 15 minutes. Alright, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I, think, uh, I think that'll do it. So we answered some questions. Uh, do we miss anything on the updates? What updates? Updates of what? Uh, oh, your brain turned off. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> My, oh, almost did. Uh, did we get through uh, all the bullet points at the beginning? Yes, we did. We did. We did get through it. We did it. <laughs> we actually followed through. We talked about the things we needed to talk about. We we talked about the episode. We t uh, we speculated. We uh, went through the questions. We did good. We talked about the V premium stuff I have. So we did it. Finally, a successful stream. Finally. Well, they're all successful, but this time, it's really good. And I'm honestly liking stream elements. Like this is really good. Like, the chat box is nice. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, you know, the scenes. Like, it, it, shut this out. Shut this out. Shut this out. Whoosh. And then back to this. And and now we'll restart, obviously. Uh, do you look... Uh, did you look into... The, yeah, I did. Uh, I still need to do more research into it. But I did. I did. Uh, it's good information. I think PNG tubing is probably where I'm gonna go, and I think I, I, I think I've been doing it. I mean, you know, I, I got. Oh nope, that's that's the chat. Nope, 
I want this. That's what I want. That's what I want. You know. Can't I? There we go. Hey, this is fine. I I <laughs> I will. Uh, I I just want to make sure that I have enough money to really properly do it. You know, and I want to make sure that if it's going to be good, I want to make sure that they are paid correctly. You know, appropriately. Uh, if you want to use the image, uh, told you about Discord Reactive. E yes. Uh, but I only have this art, and I would have to give Vanguard Ocean to edit this to be more reactive. Or at least mouth closed or, or whatever. Uh, I'll look into it. Uh, I, <laughs> I'll look into it. But uh, yeah, no, hopefully hopefully in 2022 we can get a VTuber thing going. But just having a character on screen is is fine. Uh, I mean, that's still an option for this. A exactly. But yeah, snap. For sure. For, for sure. For sure. Alrighty. I think we'll go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for uh, checking out the, the stream this week. Uh, this will be up on YouTube very shortly because I don't have to do any more editing. Which is great because the music's already here. And it's the same music I use anyway. So, thousand percent easier. Let's go! Uh, oh, there. what did we forget? What did we forget? Did we forget stuff? Uh, last week you never, you never answered. Especially, I did answer all. Oh wait, all of, all of yours, all of men. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, I, I did, I did, I did answer all of them. I, like, I just did. <laughs> okay, here, let me, let me go back real quick, and I will do that. Just g give me a second. I've got to find the post again. Give me a moment. I will send you to Jesus. That was my, me simping for my wife. Let's see. No more crits to give. Okay, here it is. Q&A. Okay, so will you finally make a Spike Brothers deck? Eventually, yes, I, I will as soon like a lot of the, the like the great three searcher that's cheap now I can go do that uh, Really trying to figure out which build I like I think I'm still gonna go with rising Nova But again, I gotta find a good deal, but it did get cheaper. So I will House husbands don't make a lot of money. Just keep that in mind uh, did, uh, will you ever make a deck collection video on YouTube? I went over all the V premium decks I, I currently have. <laughs> uh, am I cute? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by this. Are you cute or am I cute? I think I'm, I'm fine. I, I, I would say maybe a six out of 10. Maybe it will go up if I started taking walks during the day. But if it's about you, I'm not sure. I mean, I, if we're going off of profile pictures, sure. It's cute. But uh, personality-wise, absolutely cute. Uh, Busher, it's planned for the next three years. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, opinion on the anime opinion of Overdress, it's good. Uh, <laughs> it's good. It's good. Uh, it's doing very well, and I'm very happy with its pacing. Um, I just want you you to actually be a protagonist. Uh, picking up Absagra, yes. Naruto and Fortnite. For memes, I like it, and uh, and I am doing okay now. Yes, I did answer the questions, and there I did it again. So we're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> uh, I'll see about getting Keter discussion this week. Hopefully, if not next week. Now, well, I mean, it's only one p.m. over here, so I I've got stuff to do. I got errands to run, so I gotta go donate stuff. Uh, go pick up some uh, Dayquil for my wife. Uh, 
Well, you go to sleep then. Uh, but I got a few things to take care of. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this will be up on YouTube again later. If you are watching on YouTube, there, uh, check out the links in the description below. If you still need to pre-order anything, Overdress or uh, Client Touch and stuff, you can go on 50 cards, put in my promo code Ezel Senpai, and it will get you a nice discount. Same with Zero Damage Gaming. If you're looking for a really nice playmat for Christmas, or you want to get your friend uh, some Zero Damage Gaming playmats or whatever, you can use the same promo code Ezel Senpai and get yourself, uh, you know, 10% off. It's a, it's a nice discount. It's a very nice discount. Uh, if you're not following me on Twitter already, please do. Uh, there's also the Facebook page, but I am more active on Twitter now. <laughs> Thank you, Twitter. And uh, that will do. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, remember, stay uh, stay humble, stay safe, uh, wear your face mask, and if possible, please go get vaccinated. All right. You guys have a great day. Peace.